Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to work on that eMac again from the previous video because I've got memory, battery and a new hard drive. So we are going to add it to it, reinstall OS X and see how it goes. So this will be a very quick video. It's just about, uh, you know, completing that machine and then we can move on to the next project. So we're going to start with removing the battery from the machine. So that's not going to be too hard because it's located here. So we just need to go in and take this guy out. Easier said than done. All right, so, so let's see how much voltage this battery has in it. No power at all, none whatsoever. Okay, so we should be fine with this one for a few years. For the second part, which is going to be again easy, we just remove the memory and we are going to put in the brand new. So, one memory module up here. Other one as well, so we have the 512 megabytes of RAM is now installed, so that's good. We've got a new battery and we've got the new RAM as well, so that should give us plenty of boost or power. Okay. Right, right. A note to myself for future videos. If you are recording it with your camera, then check the record time because what happened here, I did run out of the 20 minute uh, limit and I don't have any footage of me dis disassembling the eMac and replacing the hard drive. I am really sorry and I will do better next time later that same evening so here goes nothing i've done all the internal upgrades i need to find the os 10 cd uh but um yeah i have no idea how to eject it actually anyway we try to turn it on let's hope it doesn't blow up i mean why would it right <laughs> boot yes screen maybe okay so the hard drive is obviously not going to work because it's an ssd an empty one most probably hard drive doesn't spin right so that's a start let's see if i have the last time dvd somewhere oh my <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later eventually So the issue is that Leopard requires a faster CPU, at least 890 megahertz, while our current CPU speed in this eMac is 700 megahertz. Now, theoretically, we could overclock the CPU to run on 900 megahertz, which is above the threshold required, or we could forget Leopard and install Tiger, which is probably the best option. But I don't want to make this decision right now, so I'm going to create a poll on YouTube and ask the people what they think.
many months later. The poll results came back and then it suggests that we should go with the uh, Taiga, which doesn't require hardware modification. And I think that's a safer option, so we are going to do that. It seems it registered the 512 megabytes of RAM. And it picked up the SSD just fine. And as we can see, we are in 10.4.6, um, which is the Tiger version from the CD. And we are still on 700 megahertz. I think that concludes our video today. Uh, the eMac is now back in normal working condition on the operating system. It was supposed to run on its speed. Uh, we've got memory upgrade, we've got the battery replaced, so it should be fine for another couple of years. And of course the hard drive being replaced to an SSD, which allows it to boot faster with less noise and less heat. Uh, because I think one of the biggest enemy of old electric circuits is heat. And although the CRT itself will generate enough and a lot of heat. Um, we are still better to reduce whatever we can and uh, therefore the hard drive not spinning, not taking that much energy. It's less load on the uh, power supply as well. So it's going to be better for the machine. Similarly to all the retro Macs, there is not much we can use this machine for. I mean, the operating system is outdated, applications are no longer developed and the existing ones are doing not much. And of course the number of the games you can play on these ga uh, machines are limited. That's today's episode. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.